Move Now, Chief Meteorologist Chad Merrill with your full seven-day forecast. Welcome back to Newswatch, folks. Last night we had the full moon. It was through those high, thin cirrus clouds. Goldie sent this from Sun Hill and Sonia from Anstead. Well, that moon looked kind of angry, does it? The good news is we have a 99% full moon tonight and all these clouds that you have out there are going to clear away. So here's the official WOAY moon viewing weather forecast. Perfect tonight and also great on Thursday night when the moon will be about 96% full. So a little sliver off each day as it uh, moves towards its waning phase. The rain that we had earlier, not much of it, is gone to the east and we have high pressure in place. This high pressure right in the Chicago, Detroit, Green Bay area. Now, as this high pressure moves in, our temperatures well cool off a bit. Notice the pressure is rising across our region, so that high pressure is moving into the region. And the winds that were gusting a bit last night, not gusting as much right now. So you probably feel less aches and pains now than 24 hours ago when the pressure was dropping ahead of that cold front. We are in the 60s across the region, upper 50s in Marlington, probably about 52 degrees right now in Snowshoe. So tonight you are going to see a couple of patches of frost develop in the valleys with a low temperature of 36 degrees. So yeah, we are going to drop very nicely tonight as we get that dry air in here. Now, how much time will you have to spend tomorrow morning to scrape the frost off your car? A quick scrape, so not even a minute. Matter of fact, put the windshield washer fluid on. You won't even have to worry about it. Uh, the time frame from 4 to 8 a.m. So you might be asking yourself, why do we not have a frost advisory? That's because the Weather Service indicated that we are not officially in the growing season yet along the Route 19 corridor. However, they are in Charleston and Huntington and further off towards the south and east. So that is the reason that frost advisories are not issued. Now if we get a cold spell in the middle of May, then indeed we are going to have frost advisories issued if our temperatures drop. Here's the cooler air settling south, but look at this. It is in the 70s across the plains. This warm air is going to invade our region late this weekend and early next week. So this trough you see or, and the atmosphere is going to be replaced by this prolific ridge developing across the plains and you can guarantee that we are going to have some of the warmest sustainable warm weather that we've seen so far this year and tomorrow it'll be comfortable though you look at that 63 degrees won't even need an umbrella you'll need a jacket because it'll be chilly in the morning but by the afternoon it will be downright gorgeous and check it out folks T tiger said i want a warm birthday well 63 degrees down to the 40s but look at this folks we're in the 70s saturday sunday 80 degrees on monday late day shower or thunderstorm on tuesday and wednesday 73 degrees so enjoy seven day forecast